Hello and welcome back for another video, another bookshelf tour video. I haven't filmed one of these in a long time, not since we moved to Texas, which is now two years. So I've never filmed a book tour a video in this house. We did, we kept the same amount of bedrooms, but we did downsize. The house is about half as big. So the book situation was a little bit more challenging, but I have space in this room which is the office slash homeschool room we have two computers set up here so some of the kids do school here i have all the kids books for the most part here they do have their own favorite and collections in their rooms for example one of my daughters has the whole like warrior cats collection she keeps that in her room but for the most part the homeschool books the kids books uh the rc books all the white shelves here uh, those are all here also in the main bedroom upstairs, I have a wall of more books, which are like the me, the fun adult books. These are like YA, like I said, educational classics. So I'll show you that. I'm not going to show you the kids' spaces in their collections, but I'll show you my office and the bedroom upstairs. I don't really have books throughout the house anymore like I used to in the old house. I do have one shelf in the corner where I keep cookbooks that are near the kitchen that's a little bit that's a lot smaller than my previous kitchen so i have them in this little corner uh, a few books in the coffee table living room but that's it we're really trying to keep it not looking cluttered and so that was an issue with this room too with the previous bookshelves i had it felt a little bit cluttered i had a lot of crafting supplies too so it was uh, not feeling that great but these are the 40 dollar viral bookshelves from target they're a great bargain for 40 bucks for what they are great to, uh, I didn't assemble them so I can't tell you if they were that easy to assemble my husband and son did but uh, they're beautiful now they have five shelves five tiers but I needed a few more inserts to really fit all my books so what I did is I just measured it and went to Home Depot and got one piece of board i think it was like 23 dollars and cut as many pieces as i could to make additional shelves for my crafting shelves and the bookshelves so overall it really wasn't that expensive to make the room feel and look so much better i love this new setup um without further ado i'm going to show you how i organize things what kind of books and everything so yeah let's get started and i forgot to turn on the lights those are just lights from five and below just to give you the full effect here so we'll go ahead and start with this wall here which is right next to my chair and here we have like my favorites like journals sticker books this is a pen kit a fountain pen kit these fun like library personal kits where you can um, if, if you let someone borrow a book but these are just sort of my favorite go-to's right here and then here we have like the Tuttle Twins history book somebody has the number one right now like previous family journals. I love these. I'll probably talk about them again in another video, but the spelling dictionaries for kids. So if they're writing an essay, I always encourage them to use level one or two. Some of my favorite writing books are here. Ah, this is really hard to do with one hand. Okay, some of my favorite writing books, writing journals, the kids, homeschool, record keeping book journals. These are the ones that I made. I'll link them down below. Um, some of my favorite books for work that I have all tabbed up here and I refer to often. Some like crafting books here. Over here, just some more favorites. Things that I refer to often. Here's the series, the Big Fat Notebook series. Some of the kids books, the McGuffey books series here. Again, just some of my favorites down here more educational books and some of the kids like bigger heavier books like this is so heavy this is huge so that's that and then this second bookshelf is a lot of the kids favorite books some series these are all the hardcover picture books the classics right <laughs> Pinkalicious, all my, I love Patricia Polacco. She's one of my favorite children's authors of all time. There's some drawing books here. So those are like the hardcover ones. We have some paperback series here. This is like the Minecraft shelf. 
They really love this series here. They reread that one often. Down here we have like some classic Dr. Seuss books. You can see here all the Berenstein Bear books that we have. Those always go with us everywhere we go. They love them. They reach for them again and again. And just kind of some other smaller size um, paperback books there. Garfield. And down here, I always said I wanted to read Harry Potter just to see like what the writing style is about. I haven't read it yet, but I have it there. Maybe one day I will. All the Tuttle Twin books are here. And just more of the skinny um my favorite paperback little skinny books here. So that is this shelf. Now this one here, these are all the RC, not all of them because it's like a hundred and something, but from New West Press, all the ones that they carry that are on the Robinson curriculum list. Like you can see here, Heidi, Little Men, Captain Courageous, Gulliver's Travels, Pilgrim Progress, even uh, this one I think is just from Amazon. I'm not sure, maybe it is from them. But they also do uh, make these like the Tale of Solomon Owl, Just So Stories by Kipling, that's a great one. Our hero, General Grant by Josephine Pollard. They do make those, Tom Swift, things like that. So that's my white shelf. I love how it looks. Then we have my favorite is the penguin cloth classic cloth bound classics so you can see the titles here they just look so beautiful in my opinion i love how these look and this is why i needed an extra shelf it's not perfect but it's close enough and then down here they're not cloth bound but they're still like the really nice uh, barnes and noble editions with the really pretty covers so there's the shelf of that, favorite book of all time. I love this one, love this cover as well. This one's probably one of my most special books. It's like that die cut version. So these are the special books, special covers. Down here we have a lot of series for kids. We went through the whole Little House on the Prairie series. I read a couple of these out loud. And some of the older girls have already read these. And then these are like adaptations here, I think. And down here we have The Wizard of Oz. I think, yeah, H.G. Wells, Sherlock Holmes, and The Hunger Games. Okay, moving on now to this second shelf are more white spine books. Just, I wanted to keep it going that first row. Kind of, but... It's not perfect, <laughs> but uh, some of these, like some of our favorites here, Alas Babylon, one of my favorites that I read in high school. These are the Tuttle Twins Choose Your Consequence series. These I kept together. This is out of place because it's a series. And then down here I have, this is like the 90s collection of Choose Your Own Adventures, a whole collection right here. The Tuttle Twins like board books and a few other board books. And then I kind of tried to do the whole color scheme for this shelf. It doesn't really work out that well, but here's like the red covers, as you can see here. And then I kind of go into blue and greens and pink, violet, and some of the dark color covers, uh, spines. And we have another series here. Down here we have the Lord of the Rings series. This is, I've never, I don't think any of my kids ever, Percy Jackson. One of my sons read this ending series and then just kind of some other random books there. A lot of these have been read alouds. Some of them, I want them to be read alouds, uh, but they're books that I feel very comfortable if anybody, you know, wants to grab something to read aside from their educational book like their RC book I also let them pick a fun book to to split the time to split the hour hour and a half then we have the collection of who was books I know I'm probably behind there's a lot more there's more here some of the um this word of the day book and a poem for every day we already went through that year so I'm kind of giving that one a break my favorite 
my childhood favorite, the Help Me Be Good books. Some of these have really been loved. Others are in better conditions, but I've read all of them to all my kids. They continue to reach for them. So I love those. Another favorite are the Little Golden books. So those are here. Again, big Minecraft family. So there's a lot of those. And then the Tuttle Twin guidebooks. And then this series that's really good. Um, it's the Stay in the Castle series. Then we have uh, the Magic Tree House. The I Survived books. These are great for reluctant readers. They're like quick, easy, interesting reads. And then the classic start books. So if they have a really hard time with RC books, I think these, this is like a good compromise. These classic starts to get them into it. And so those are all the books here. I do have one series up here just because I like how it looks. I love it when spines line up to make a picture. And just to give you a little sneak peek look over here, we have my favorite poem, If, by Rudy Kipling. And we have here kind of all the Cricut supplies and canvases. I ordered these little notebooks on Timu. It came in a huge box. I had to wait a while because they came by boat. But I had gotten the wrong size for this planner that I have as refills, but they're now like drawing books or the kids just want a notebook, something to take to church or something. They grab it there. We have my Cricut, all my Cricut supplies, all my like scrapbooking, book journaling supplies here. And these are some of the things that I still use with my um, eight-year-old. So some Alpha Phonics, Progressive Phonics. We like the old Dick and Jane books a lot. We still use those. And I have in here one of my favorite resources. This is Reading Without Tears, the original. Like this is from 1879. It was said this is the book that Winston Churchill used to learn how to read. So I love that. Very special. We still use that. And we have... Uh, my sewing machine and embroidery machine, those supplies, all my book binding kit supplies are here. Just some art supplies for the kids that they can grab. More book binding supplies here, which I'm planning on doing a, for a few more of those videos. And like laminator and um, hot glue gun. But yeah, that's it. I still have that. Might have seen that in my old videos. But that is what this room looks like. All right, so I apologize because the lighting is not that great. Up here, we try to keep it darker. Uh, so, but let's go uh, shelf by shelf. We have Twilight. I've never read Twilight. I really want to, in my life, see what the hype is about. So maybe one day, same with this series as well. Um, I've read the Court of Thorn series. My oldest daughter read the Caravel series and these Hawthorne books and another one, The Cruel Prince. These are like uh, YA, different genres, romanticy maybe, I don't know what you would call it, um, or mystery, thriller, YA. So there's a few more series here. Um, let's see, I haven't read these yet. Oh, this actually, I think... Is not part of the same series. It's another spin-off series from the one I have upstairs. We have the Shatter Me series. Our uh, One of my daughters is on book one. And Throne of Glass series, which I really want to get to. Some of my friends have read and they really recommend it. And kind of some more that genre of books that I haven't read yet that I really want to eventually. Over here, this bookshelf, there's a little bit more of that type of genre down here and then we have like my favorite historical fiction books this these two are here are my favorite susan holloway scott is my very favorite author when it comes to this genre this is one of my personal favorites and so these are some of her other books that i haven't read yet i want to get to some more books that are like on Reese Witherspoon list of must read. I'm reading one right now that's not on the shelf right now. Sing, Unbird Sing or something. I really want to read Codename Verity. Um, this was really good. Like, I like books on Queen Victoria and her letters. 
um, a lot of like, yeah, romance here, Emily Henry books, things like that. Dow A for aunties. I haven't read that one, but I kind of want to. I do like the Crazy Rich Asian series. I read the first first two books, Taylor Jenkins Reid books, of course, like my Colleen Hoover collection. I feel like she really got me hooked into fiction again as an adult because I've been so nonfiction for so long. Just that feeling of I can't wait to jump back into the book uh, that she really was kind of the catalyst for that. Uh, another series here, The Selection. I think that's what it's called. Um, I can't believe I'm blanking. Outlander, the series here. This one um, I got for my husband because he really liked the, the Alchemist, the first one. And then over here, kind of the nonfiction books. So uh, I like some celebrity autobiographies. I like the Gina Davis one. I didn't know she was married to Gavin that wrote The Gift of Fear, which I had somewhere. One of my kid, one of my daughters was reading it. Uh, but yeah, these are like the orange red, kind of doing the same thing here. Uh, some NLP books, parenting books, more here. A lot of like NLP. It's all mixed because I'm going by color. But as you can see, a lot of parenting, some fashion things. Um, got all my like exercise stuff here. All the white spine ones. Um, a lot of these are really good. I've read I've read most of the nonfiction books. There are some still um, I need to get to. And then here are kind of like the dark spine books. And yeah, that's it. And I have one more little bookshelf next to my nightstand because the nightstand was getting out of control. So instead I just put a little bookshelf next to it. And this is like random stuff, stuff that I'm reading or I've read already and it just doesn't fit on the other shelves. Um, some things that I like to refer to often, uh, like some little, you know, like those little lifestyle things or style. Um, read most of these but yeah just just some random books here i read the ministry of time this is the one i was talking about the gift of fear he was married to gina davis uh one of my daughters loved this trilogy i haven't read it yet so eventually one day but yeah i've read some i've read these read the britney spears um memoir that was crazy and just kind of some more uh, book of the month books and some that I like to go over again and again. And yeah, so that, those, that's it. That's all my books. All right, it's been several hours later since I started filming. I even took a little power nap and ready to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching with me and talking about one of my favorite things ever, books, reading, one of my favorite hobbies. So thank you so much for being here. If you like this type of video, I think you would like this one. YouTube's algorithm thinks you would like this one instead. And let me know if you like book related videos, reading vlogs, top 10, top five, let me know. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.